Hey you all, thank you very much for tuning into my channel today. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday. I know I am. Uh, today we've got an interesting episode for you because we will be reviewing an anime sent in by one of our viewers. So before we get going, I'm going to mention that this anime is aimed more towards the adult audiences. So if you're under 18, I suggest you go find another video to watch because uh, this probably isn't appropriate to you. I'd also like to give a massive shout out to the furry who put me onto this show. Uh, she did ask that she remained anonymous, so I'm not going to name her by name. Uh, but thank you very much for putting me onto this. Uh, she did say that being furries, a lot of my audience might appreciate this show, and I think she's right. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to have a quick look at a show called Monster Masumi. So let's roll that intro and get on with it. Uh, so Monster Masumi is an animation that hails from the far off land of Japan and it centres around an ordinary lad called Kimihito. Uh, so in the show's setting, uh, the Japanese government have been keeping Monster Girls secret from the general public up until recently and now uh, Kimihito has been selected to be host to one of these Monster Girls, uh, Mia, uh, who is a Lamia, which is like a half snake kind of Naga lady. Uh, if, if you're familiar with what Nagas are, they're like human from the torso up and snake from the uh, hips down. It wastes no time of backstory or, you know, build and plot. It just dives straight in with Kimihito living with Mia. And Mia's going straight in for the kill. She's going straight in for a snuggle squeeze on Kimihito, squeezing the life out of him, saying she likes his warmth, she wants his warmth. Uh, but it's clear she's after something else. In fact, a significant portion of the plot revolves around her attempts to seduce him, even though it goes against uh, the rules set out at the start of the show that he's not allowed to have relations uh, with a girl under his care. And these rules are laid out by the absent-minded Agent Smith, who seems to be doing her absolute worst at the job, or absolute best at trying to get Kimihito to hook up with as many monster girls as possible. And that brings me on to my next point, and that is this show's crazy obsession with breasts. Every single episode, one of the girls will be getting her tits out, or engage in some crazy running scene where the animation is over the top. So I'm just going to warn you guys again, this show is definitely not safe for work, it is definitely aimed for a more adult audience. Now it seems like almost every single episode a new girl is moving in. You know, it seems like the tailor made just to make Kimihito's life even more difficult. Whether it's the bird brain pappy causing chaos, or the haughty centuria who's aloof and controlling. Um, they all seem to be tailor made just to make Kimihito's life even harder. Each monster girl introduced brings new challenges, more story, and even greater perverted scenery for the audience. So to say this animation has an obsession with boobs would be a definite understatement. But if you think it was perverted up until this point, wait until you meet a character called uh, Rachnira, who is a spider monster. Uh, with her introduction, the show goes from a mild hentai show to rampant BDSM scenes, as this spider girl uses her weapon to tie everyone and anyone up, including herself sometimes. And I have to say, that's not the weirdest part of this show, as uh, Kimihito and the groupies make their way through life, love, and Agent Smith's poorly thought out but humorous plotting. Uh, the, the episodes themselves, they range from the traditional fish-out-of-water type episodes uh, showing these monster girls interacting in a human society, right the way up to constant infighting and combat between them as they fight over the affections and love of Kimihito. Uh, so if the ladies aren't your thing, I'm afraid you can be a little bit disappointed with this show, because from what I've seen, uh, there's no male monsters whatsoever. However, a small caveat, I have only watched the anime, I have never read the books, uh, so I don't know whether any are introduced in the manga itself. So the anime itself runs for 16 episodes. Uh, as for the manga, from what I understand, there are two separate series out there. Um, there. There is the mainline series, which follows the main story arcs of Kimihito and his groupies, you know, getting through life, all that kind of stuff. And there's a second series, which seems to be a collection of short stories. Uh, so looking at the pictures of the manga itself, uh, there do seem to be more girls uh, who aren't featured in the anime including a fair number of creatures that would qualify as traditional furries. And that does include fox girls, which is a definite plus for me. So if you're looking for your next furry fix, or just something to satisfy your weird taste in anime, definitely give uh, Monster Masumi a look, it may surprise you. I mean, it definitely surprised me, it, it caught me completely off guard. I was not expecting quite that level of pervertedness in an anime. So overall, I'd give Monster Masumi a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, the storyline is great, the characters are hilarious, and the humour is rock solid. Um, it's a little bit too sexually charged for my tastes. Um, it's definitely not something you can show friends and family, be like, you know, check out this anime, because they are going to give you weird looks. Uh, so, so that's why I couldn't give it a, you know, a, a solid 9 or 10 out of 10. Uh, but it's a good watch nonetheless. From what I've seen, you can pick it up on Amazon for about 30 quid for the anime on Blu-ray. Uh, so yeah, head on over to Amazon if you want to pick it up. Uh, it is not available on any of the major streaming services, which is not surprising because, you know, it's not for kids. You know, a big shout out to the furry who put me onto this. It definitely was an entertaining watch, and I think you guys will enjoy it too. 
Uh, so if you enjoyed today's show, please like and subscribe and smash that bell icon. And don't forget to drop your comments below. Tell me about the weirdest and craziest anime that you've watched recently. And as always, I'll be uploading every Tuesday and Friday, so remember to tune in for my next episode. Other than that, I hope you have a great Friday. Uh, you enjoy yourselves, you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. ta -ra. I know I ham. Uh, ham? What? First blooper. Uh, I know I ham. Ham. Ham again. What? I'd also like to give a massive th uh, th 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 uh, so Monster Masumi is an anime uh, from Japan. Well, obviously it's from Japan. It's an anime. Fuck it. Okay. Head on over to Amazon or your local bookstore. No, not your local bookstore. It's not going to be in your local bookstore. What the fuck am I smoking? You know, big shout out to the furry... Uh, for the...